वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज योर चंद्रशेखर उठकुरी अपॉन द रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव कम अप विद द प्री फाइनल एग्जामिनेशन पेपर फॉर द कोर्स बिजनेस इकोनॉमिक्स एंड फिनेंशियल एनालिसिस बेफा व्हिच इज अ कॉमन फॉर ऑल स्ट्रीम्स अंडर ऑल द स्पेशलाइजेशंस ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस इंजीनियरिंग अंडर जे टू एच फॉर आर ट्वेंटी टू रेगुलेशन एज आई हैव प्रीवियसली पोस्टेड द इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट एंड क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस कोर्स होप यू हैव प्रिपेयर वेल फॉर टुमारोज एक्सटर्नल एग्जामिनेशन बिफोर दिस आई वुड लाइक टू लेट यू नो अ नोट दैट दिस पेपर इज ओनली फॉर योर लेवल ऑफ प्रिपरेशन एंड प्लीज क्रॉस चेक लाइक हाउ मेनी मार्क्स यू आर गोइंग टू स्कोर प्लीज टेक्स मी इमीडिएटली आफ्टर गोइंग थ्रू दिस पेपर सो दैट यू कुड बी एबल टू नो दैट वॉट इज योर लेवल ऑफ प्रिपरेशन बेस्ड ऑन दैट यू नीड टू वर्क आउट डी एस स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज गो थ्रू ईच एंड एवरी पॉइंट वेर आई हैव हाईलाइट द टेक एग्जाम और जस्ट मार्क द मार्क्स वेर यू आर फील दैट दिस इज ओके फॉर यू एंड हैव पोस्टेड ए वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू टेक अ थ्री पेपर इन द एक्सटर्नल एग्जामिनेशन प्लीज गो थ्री टैंड वर्क आउट अकॉर्डिंगली without any delay i would like to let you all know the part a questions are just like this i mean the first unit questions will be like mixed economy and micro economics what is demand forecasting and the determinants of supply do not just write us in a single statement as is all are one mark thinking showed that you need to write a half pay one page <coughs> importance of each and every point and these are set with the sec third unit questions and this is set with the fourth unit question and the later right formula of liquid ratio and defense solvency is set to be the 450th unit question these all questions were for placed in the a uh, youtube channel of my uh, befa important concepts and questions for you all hope you have prepared those questions and these will be reflecting even in that video there hope you are going to subscribe to my channel and share this content with your friends as well as share my channel with your juniors so i am going to work out the very important concepts and question for the various courses also and in the coming days i am going to let you know the internships as well as job related opportunities for computer science engineering and ai ml and ds as well as artificial intelligence and machine learning students later just jump into the part b questions which are nothing but the long questions do not expect direct 10 mark question as it is a theory paper you need to furnish your answers very neatly dear students and we have certain problems also have come up with that also the second unit first unit question is what is theory of fmom what are its objectives and the types of entities of business is set to be the top most question you need to elaborate in detail by underlining the each and every point by carrying two set of pens the black as well as blue black is for the headings and the blue is for write up and the carry even pencil as well as calculator also for the problem and the phases of business cycle is set to be the top most question which is repeatedly asked the causes of inflation also so you need to either write 2ab or 3ab i hope you have taken the discrete mathematics paper very well mannered later the next question is all about the second unit explain the different types of measurements of elasticity of demand coming to elasticity and demand i have highlighted in the previous question paper hope you have worked on it and the law of supply law of demand and law of supply is set with drop most question which may occur this time for sure and methods of demand forecasting also to be worked out the role of elasticity of demand in decision making this is set with the second unit question dear students and coming to the third unit we have features of perfect competition and cost volume profit analysis and calculate cvp analysis dear student the question paper will be lengthy in structure do not expect direct question for 10 marks it is a combination of a and b with 5 5 marks or 7 3 or 6 4 marks split and the coming to the next unit i mean the third unit what is returns to scale what are the factors responsible for return to scale discuss the types of pricing and suggest which pricing method is most advantageous and why do not expect direct questions here i have come up with a level of preparation need to be checked out by the students before going to the end examination i mean that each and every student under jnth need to clear of r22 regulation need to clear all the subjects in a single attempt I have uploaded a video on credit transfer and credit promotion if you are failing to score the minimum credits to transfer from second year to third year you are going to detain and you need to retake this courses and take the exam once again this is how i would like to let you all know to work out and check your preparation level and text me in the comment section as soon as you go through this video the later the fourth unit question is about the define accounting and brief accounting concepts and accounting equation and cycle in the fourth unit will be getting problem if it is a problem will be getting the damn sure 10 mark problem for directly and you need to take your cal carry your calculator to the end examination and ensure that the problem may be sometimes 10 or they may be giving even the problem with some small uh, the equation to be written or some theory part to be written such type of problems related to tribal balance extract books of zero 
uh, trading and profit and lost accounts and the balance sheet need to be prepared for this ensure to work out if you are working for the fourth unit dear students later we look into the fifth unit that is all about problematic also here about the types of ratios were explained here i have taken five types of ratio analysis followed by the income statement of group for the academic 20, 2017 certain particulars were given here you need to calculate the gross profit ratio operation all the different types of ratios need to be calculated ensure that if you are preparing the fifth unit you are supposed to work out even the problems also the students failing which you are going to big this subject is a backlog and it is difficult for you all to clear in the coming days to go and the later what are the merits and demerits of ratio analysis and again a problem related to ratios for the balance sheet current ratio liquidity ratio proprietary ratio offer given liabilities and assets you need to calculate dear students this is how your question paper will be there in tomorrow's external examination it is a combination of theory as well as problematic ensure that from fourth and fifth unit if you are prepared and if you are going to prepare ensure that the problems will be occurring in a question paper for sure tomorrow dear students hope you are going to subscribe to my channel as well as if you are looking for any other course important questions concepts as well as i told that in the beginning I am going to work out for you as an engineering student it is not that just taking the J2 examination mid examination and lab examination that won't give you anything to your resume I added advantage you need to undergo certain online courses you need to take some advanced courses as well as internships I am going to let you know all those things in the coming days to go do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to press a bell icon so that you are going to receive the latest notifications on the videos which I am going to post in my channel this is your Chandrasekhar Uttakuri signing off for now. Thank you.